On Friday afternoon, I was called to the scene of a shooting inside the lit at 132 Ames Street. Chief Hayden informed me that a 21-year-old man, Elson Miranda, had been shot in an assassination-style shooting. The victim succumbed to his injuries a short time later at a local hospital. My condolences go out to Mr. Miranda's family. Within minutes of the shooting, Brockton police detectives working alongside Massachusetts state troopers assigned to District Attorney Tim Cruz's office launched an intensive investigation that is ongoing. In response to Friday's violence, Chief Hayden assigned additional Brockton police patrols over the weekend. The chief also requested and received additional Massachusetts state police assigned to Brockton. After being informed that the lid had reopened on Saturday, Chief Hayden contacted the bar's owner and requested that he voluntarily close the bar. The owner complied and the bar remains closed at this time. On Monday, at my direction, the Board of Health conducted an inspection of the premises. No violations were found. Today, subsequent to a meeting in my office with Chief Hayden, the city's attorneys, and the chairman of the license commission, a notice to appear was issued to the bar owner. The owner will appear in front of the license commission during their regularly scheduled meeting on Thursday night. Our relentless aggressive pursuit of criminals in this city continues. This morning, the Brockton Narcotics Unit, assisted by the Massachusetts State Police, arrested Placido Pereira and charged him with two counts of unlawful possession of a firearm, two counts of unlawful possession of ammunition, and one count of possession of a Class D substance with intent to distribute. Pereira was one of the top-ranked criminals on Chief Hayden's list of Brockton's 50 worst criminals and is now the 11th from that list to be arrested since February. We will restore safe neighborhoods to the city, and that includes the village. Thank you for your time.